How's it going guys? Got some uh, updates for you on Able. I just mounted the uh, second case. I had to mount it in a different orientation because of the uh, air dryer. So the air dryer still fits. It's still within the footprint of the vehicle as you can see here. Lines up pretty good. But I just had to rotate it uh, 90 degrees and it'll still work just the same. Just as good. Uh, another thing I did is exhaust has been removed I'm looking for storage space under here for the water tank and you can see there's a boatload of storage up there so as I was saying here um, look at all the space that this freed up I mean that's a ton of space um, I might have to take this mounting plate off but let me show you what I have in mind. And this is just going to be temporary until I get um, water tanks custom made for the where the tray, the side trays normally sit. But I just had this stuff sitting around and it's not doing anything, so I figured I might as well use it. I've got um, these drums, and here's a 30-gallon drum right here. And um, Willow cleaned this one out yesterday. It's just been sitting here forever. So I'm going to see if I can get figure out a, a way to get that mounted in there and then I'll use my famous uh, Schrader valve and a hose spigot so that when you want water pressure you just hook a air pump up to it and um, that's how you get water pressure but I'll have to see if it'll even fit. I forgot to mention one other thing. I got the uh, AC mounted in the cab. I think I mentioned that in my last video but what the heck mention it again and the Volcom is almost rock hard and that stuff once it grabs a hold it will not let go hey guys uh, looks like I'm gonna repurpose these uh, muffler straps to go underneath here somehow it does fit and it fits uh, way beyond anything I ever expected I could probably fit a 55 gallon drum under here but for right now I'm just gonna set this up um, see how it performs see how it works make sure it doesn't just drop off in the middle of the freeway um, but aside from that I think uh, I think it's gonna be no problem I'll put some bigger bolts on it uh, instead of those uh, 9 16 or 14 mil or whatever they are I'll put some big half inch bolts and I think I'm gonna drill holes here and here once I figure out where they're going to end up landing. So we'll give that a shot here. Alright guys, I got the barrel set up and the glue is drying on the spigot and I used a bolt-in Schrader valve. Got a variety of straps to choose from but the distance to make up on the uh, straps down here is so short that I might have to bolt the ratchet right to the strap so I got them bolted in I used grade 8 hardware on the mounts should work out great it sits way off to the side from the drive shaft so that shouldn't be an issue but we'll find out when it, once I put it up there all right guys check this out let's be able to get it up there uh, no problems. I cut the straps short and I even uh, welded the ends of them. The only place it could probably go would be forward. It's got about four inches. Or backward. It's got about three inches. So um, the only other thing I could think of happening is the straps breaking, but that's just so far fetched. I mean, those straps are, the steel straps are stainless steel and they're pretty damn thick. So test it out see how well it does uh, it's just temporary anyway I'm gonna eventually put um, like 8 foot wide by 6 inch by 16 inch tanks right here so we'll have a couple hundred gallons of water on board but for now this is just a temporary thing and it'll probably work just fine my dad gave me a bunch of stuff that he got at 
work so I swapped out the reverse light with this single Pia pretty bright it's kind of yellowish blue pretty neat too the old reverse light is pretty trash so I think that's gonna be it for this episode guys I will catch you guys next time see you later bye bye